everybody. Welcome back to the Asylum. I'm here today at the Vintage Japanese Motorcycle Club's Carolina Classic Motorcycle Show in Concord, North Carolina. We've got a good show. Had a decent turnout behind us, as you can see. Have people coming in as spectators and voting on their favorite bikes. I'm going to go take a deep, in-depth look at a couple of bikes here that are really special and have their owners tell you their story. Okay, everybody, here we are with Mr. Yeah. Kurt Andrews, the owner of Andrews Motorsports. And behind him is a very special bike. This is Jimbo's Chopper, a beautiful CB750. Tell me about it. We'll start with what year is it, and how did you come to wind up with it after your friend had it? Tell the whole story quickly. Ready? Yep. First of all, this is Danny Hogg Hart. The bike was owned by Jimmy Jimbo Health, which was a friend of ours from the mid-70s. Home. And uh, I sold this bike to Jimbo when we were probably about 19 years old. It was chopped once and then re chopped it. Danny was in the, involved in it and we were all friends. And uh, the second time it was done, the chassis was a one off custom field that uh, Danny and Jimbo hit the pipes on and uh, the framework and welded it together. Jimbo got killed in 2007. We lost our friend. And uh, he, he was the only one of us that had held on to his old chopper. And uh, I got it back from his wife, his widow, three or four years after he was killed. And originally I was just going to take the bike and uh, kind of patina it, get it running, ride around once in a while, remember my old friend. Let Danny ride around once in a while, remember his old friend. And on the trip home, all the paint blew up the bike being 45 years old. So we had to repaint the bike then. So once we started repainting it, one thing we had to go. And this is what we ended up with. It pays homage to, to our old friend, so we don't ever forget it. And uh, I'm gonna let Danny tell, he can tell what he wants to tell now. When I look at this, it pulls on my old heart strain. So, Jimmy was dear to us. And when we lost him, he wasn't a fifty. He wasn't riding this bike. He was riding the horse. But he always kept a different. I wish I'd have kept mine. I had a nice 750. That bike had a nice 750. Don't you wish you had your Oh, yeah. I hate to know what I'd pay for it, man. Yeah, me too. He can about name the price, did not he? Yep. But Jimmy kept it. But this bike was made basically from scrap. The frame is made out of gas tubing. Jimmy brought the gas tubing from somewhere. I brought the fender home to work and did all the angles for this frame. Made all the pieces out in Jimmy Welder. The rear of the bike with an icon slide through right here. Fat bike. Fat bike made in the shop when they worked at Cannon Mill. We made, we made them pieces and the pieces that hold the motor, motor in the trail and the motor mount. That's what he did to this bike. It's got a lot of, I'm glad to see it. This is the first time I've seen it completed since he got it from here. It was about, because, because naturally business, we gotta, we gotta do business and make money. Um, so, and this was a labor of love and respect. Um, we had to, it took about eight years to get this bike completely done. So, uh, uh, I think Jimbo will be proud, and, and uh, I think he will be uh, very happy that, that uh, we've done this just to remember an old friend. One important thing, did you get a, a shot at a tank? I'm about to do that right now. There, there's, this is not just a tank. It means something. Look at it. Right here, look at it. 
I'll go over a quick deal on the tank. The original bike had ribbons in the paint job, and it had this is from Jackson Browns running on empty. Back in the 70s, a lot of us used uh, album covers on custom paint jobs. That's what we did. All right. Jimbo didn't have the drum set. If there's any rockers out there watching, they, they know running on empty has got drum sets in, in the scene work. Um, Jimbo didn't have that in there. And the painter, when I went to him about repainting it because all the paint had blown off of it, uh, he was having a hard time with the dark album cover being on yellow paint. He said it's like ketchup dropping on a white shirt. And he said, we need to figure out some way to soften it up. So I actually suggested that we do the, the ghost planes. And then I said, we can keep the album cover and we'll put a bike in there. This is Jimbo, he had a ponytail like me. And instead of riding off into the dark night sky, I said, we'll put Jesus up here with clouds around him. And so that is Jimbo. Riding. riding off into heaven. I love riding it. Riding to Jesus. Yeah. It, it means something. All, all Jimmy's bikes, Muriel Smith's. And this one is heavy. And that bike right there, have you looked at David Tarleton right there? That's nice. There's two things that's important about that bike. That probably me and you would catch, and everybody wouldn't catch it. You'll see, you'll see what means. We done? Yeah, we're done. I appreciate you telling me about this, gentlemen. I mean, I'm going to take a look around. And the Jimbo on that bike up there. And he's got two, uh, what should I say? There's two things on that bike calling mm -hmm. him. Yeah. All right, well. I appreciate your time and you telling me about it. Well, I, I like um, uh, out of the motorcycles that I, that I own um, and, and the cars that I, I've been blessed enough to, to be able to own. And what I really enjoy is one that's uh, something that's got a story to it. So this one's definitely got a story to it. And uh, out, of, out of everything I got, it's probably the best story. So that's... that's that and pays, you know, pays respect and remembrance to my friend Jim, or, or Jimbo as we always call him. All right, thank you very much for your time. Okay. Let's take a look back at some of the details of this one. It's a gorgeous bike. True old school hardtail Honda Chopper. I'll be back. Twin fog lamps on top for headlights. Drag pipes, the whole works. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm glad he took the time to show it to us.